Hi, hello, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, we're going through my weekly wrap up for the week commencing the, oh, do you know what? I'll, we'll, we'll put the date in and post the date's gonna be, whoa, up here. Date's gonna be up here. So, uh, and also it'll be the name of the video. So do I need to put the date? Well, you'll see if I can be bothered to do it. This week I have uh, finished one book and started another. Uh, the video is late to today because I've had quite a busy week, so um, I decided to film this on Saturday instead of Friday um, so that I could have finished this book, which is Finders Keepers by Stephen King. So. Um, I have since finished Finders Keepers and there'll be a review on the channel going up on Monday which I'm hoping to film right after this. Um, you'll see if the camera angle light or t-shirt has changed uh, if I uh, wasn't able to finish it right away. Um, but I have since started the next book and the final one in the Bill Hodges trilogy which is End of Watch. Um, so I can give you kind of my um, very, very surface level thoughts on both books here. So um, Finders Keepers, I did not like as much as Mr. Mercedes. I really, really enjoyed Mr. Mercedes and I felt kind of drawn in the whole time. It, it took me like 24 hours to read it. But Finders Keepers um, kind of spends like almost half the book completely away from the cast that you fell in love with in Mr. Mercedes. So you get attached to these characters, you fall in love with them, and then Stephen King's like, mm, you have to wait. You don't get to see these guys again for a while. Um, this, this, So I really waver between a three and a four star for this one, actually, because um, the characters are great. Even the new characters that you spend most of the first half of the book with are great, I do like them, uh, but I found myself only like half interested in, um, I'll say half interested is the wrong term, I was interested in one character once they hit a certain point, um, but before that um, I, didn't, I didn't really like the amount of time King put into the setup on that one, that one specific character on, on Pete. Um, and I really liked Morris, um, and I kind of wanted to see more of him and his story at the beginning. Um, you do eventually get enough of both. Like, they're both very well set up, they're both well put together. Um, but I kind of wished for more Morris at the beginning, and less Peter, Pete, whatever you want to call him. And then, uh, as it went on, I just wanted Hodges to come back in, and to kind of start the crime investigation present day section um i'll talk more about it in the review um and i'll go kind of in depth into you know the setup for the book and and who's returning of, of, of characters from the previous book and like developments and things like that um but safe to say finders keepers so far um i've only read uh how many pages so i started this this morning and i'm 32 pages in to end of watch but already the beginning of end of watch is much stronger than the beginning of finders keepers aside from the first first chapter of finders keepers which is really really engrossing like obviously your first chapter needs to be excellent to bring people into your book that's why a lot of fantasy novels will often have like a really big action-packed prologue um, and that's what king does with finders keepers uh, but I have to say, um, after that, it slowed down a little too... Did it slow down too much? We'll talk about it in the review. I think I need some time to formulate my thoughts, so I may not film this back-to-back. -back. Um, end of Watch. Uh, we're still following Bill Hodges um, and Holly Gibney. So the reason that I have been reading these Stephen King books this month is because I really wanted to um, get up-to-date on Holly Gibney so that I could read Holly, which is King's latest book, came out in September. Um, so in order to read Holly, I have two more things to read. So after I read End of Watch, I'm going to be reading The Outsider, 
Um, I have heard that this one is really, really excellent. Um, I'm very excited to start reading it. Um, also, I have heard that the TV series is excellent, which will be a nice, refreshing change from the Mr. Mercedes show, which um, I just kind of didn't vibe with at all. Like I watched, I did watch the first episode. I talked a bit about it in the Mr. Mercedes review. So if you want to watch, you want to hear my full thoughts on the show, um, please catch into the review. But I felt like they truly, really misunderstood Bill's character. And I think that without, um, with the thing that they missed and they didn't do with Bill's character, I don't think you can have as enjoyable a book if that makes sense, a enjoyable, as enjoyable a series. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, TV show with Mr. Mercedes aside, I've really been enjoying these Bill Hodges books. And whilst I, you know, I'm saying that Finders Keepers might be a three star, I read the second half of it basically in one sitting. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I probably, I would say it probably took me two or three evenings of reading to get to the bit when Bill joins the book. And then um, I think that I read the whole of the last like 150 pages in a single session and went to bed at like half past one in the morning, which is very, very late for me. So um, it was incredibly engrossing. I loved the whole thing. So there you go. That's the... That's the upshot of Finders Keepers is that while it starts in a way that I didn't love, you might love it. And the the ending, I think, is going to be universally like really good, high octane, fantastic. And where it leaves the characters and kind of the tease for the next book uh, was really, really good. Um, so, uh, yeah, end of watch. I wanted to go straight into reading. Obviously, it was half past one, so I didn't. I went straight to bed. Um, but this morning, as soon as I had some free time, I started reading End of Watch and um, oh, I think it's really, really good so far. Um, and the kind of hook that comes in at the end of Finders Keepers, which is the hook for End of Watch, um, is something that I'm super interested in. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how it plays out. It's quite fun because you it's quite King tells you basically what is kind of going on in End of Watch at the end of Finders Keepers. So when you finish Finders Keepers and you start End of Watch, the characters are kind of on the back foot where you know what's going on. And I do really enjoy that. Um, that's that's a, a really cool kind of mystery novel is when when we know more than the characters do and we're watching them discover it. They That happens in um, Mr. Mercedes as well. Um, and I think that that's really well done. And it'll be nice to spend the whole book with Bill and Holly again. Um, there just wasn't enough of them in Finders Keepers, to be honest. Um, I don't know who the main character of The Outsider is. I know that Holly is is a, a major supporting character, but I don't know who the, the, the main character is. I think it's a new character. And there's some kind of foreshadowing at the beginning of End of Watch. Um, so uh, excited to finish reading that one. And maybe um, in an ideal world, right, I'll read End of Watch tonight and tomorrow evening and finish it. Post my review on Wednesday, because as always, Tuesdays are um, not current reading videos. Uh, post my review on like Wednesday um, and then... Uh, I'll already have maybe even finished The Outsider by then, and I can post that afterwards. Um, next week's going to be a bit of a, bit of a wild one, really, on, on the channel. Um, I have no Tuesday video planned, so either I will hunt down a tag video, um, or I will do another comics for fantasy readers, or comics for sci-fi readers um, uh, episode. Um, so if you'd be interested in a fantasy comic or a sci-fi comic or maybe maybe even a thriller so if you'd be interested in something like that um, pop in the comments down below and let me know what sort of comic recommendation you want this week um, and if I get um, enough responses like more than one um, I'll make that specific video I'll find a good comic 
and I will uh, do a recommendation video. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a crazy week this week because um, I don't know if I've spoken about this on the channel actually yet, because, but um, I've said before I used to be a big comic book fan, but I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. So Spider-Man is like my favourite fictional character of all time. I named my son Peter after Spider-Man. Um, like, I'm a big fan. Um, and on Friday, there is a brand new Spider-Man video game coming out. The first one since, I think, 2019 or 2020. Uh, yeah, 2020. Um, and that 2021 was like a side story. It wasn't like the full, a full uh, big release. Um, so I've booked the day off work. I've asked my wife to take out the my son to take him out for a day trip. So I've got the day in the house to myself to play Spider Man. Um, so, um, yeah, it's going to be a wild week. This one. I don't know when I'm going to film my weekly wrap up. I don't know what I'm going to read over the week because um, I'd like to make sure that obviously the content keeps up for you guys, um, and I don't have to take uh, days off again. Um, like this Thursday, I just had nothing to talk about. So, and no um, kind of off the books videos planned. Um, so I didn't, uh, I just didn't post anything. Um, ideally, I do like to post Monday through Friday. Um, maybe next week I will do a couple of batch pre-filming videos of videos that are kind of like um, list style books. So I had thought about doing, uh, because this month's been pretty Stephen King themed, I had thought about doing a video which is um, Stephen King books that I want to read. Um, and while I kind of want to read all of them, or at least a lot of them, um, I think that if I do a King books I want to read, this will be like my priority top five, top ten books of his that I want to read. Um, and maybe I'll even try and um, marry one up to my reading schedule for next year, um, which is kind of starting to get sketched out. We'll see. Basically, Either World in January is a lock. It's a 100%. I've put the fancy special edition on my Amazon wish list for Christmas so that uh, I've got a really nice book uh, copy to read from. Um, and I'm really excited to get started. Um, so that's what's coming up on the channel next week. Um, I did want to have, um, we'll have a little chat off the books. So off the books, I'm kind of thinking of as like non book related content. So, uh, I've got one kind of question for off the books, which is, would you guys be interested in a review of the new Spider-Man video game? Um, I definitely feel like that's something that's within my wheelhouse or maybe less of a review and more like, like a full spoiler discussion sort of thing where I'll go deep and talk about the game and, and the plot stuff that happens and what I thought about it and how it compares to the comics that I've read. Um, so if you would be interested in that, please just let me know, drop a comment. Um, but the other off the books thing that I want to talk about is also kind of uh, comic book related which is Loki. Um, so Loki is the new... Well, it's on season two now of um, a MCU-related TV show starring Tom Hiddleston as Loki um, and Owen Wilson also as uh, Agent Mobius. Um, and they basically are like time cops. And they work for a, a, an agency called the TVA, the Time Variance Authority. Um, and they are basically travelling through time and stopping alternate timelines from starting if that makes sense um so the the series is basically it's basically american doctor who um with kind of a wes anderson aesthetic um it's a really really interesting show so episode two of season two came out yesterday and i watched it with my wife because we, we watch all the mcu stuff together because she's while not a big comic book fan she got into the mcu through me and now she's just as interested in all the new stuff as it comes out. So uh, we watched uh, Loki season two, episode two last night. And I would recorded last week's uh, weekly update before Loki season two, episode one, before I'd watched it. So I couldn't talk about that last week. Um, 
But now having watched the first two, I have a couple of comments, which is basically that I'm really enjoying it. I, I think the show looks like it cost billions. Uh, the design, the costume, the sets, everything, like a lot of the sets look very look practical. A lot of the effects are really good. And um, Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson are excellent, as always, uh, especially together. They work very well together in kind of this, like, uh, Mobius is kind of very earnest and open. And uh, he, you know, he's kind of got that, like, American charm, whereas Hiddleston is obviously Loki. And he he's, like, kind of the Professor Moriarty, the... The maniacal genius and the trickster really really interesting love their characters together I think they work really well I think that they're perfectly cast obviously Hiddleston is perfectly cast but um, Owen Wilson is perfectly cast to be his like foil um, his like straight man almost and it works really really well the plot line of this season is that um, after the thing that happens in the finale of Loki season 1 um, the time stream is kind of unraveling and more and more and more and more alternate universes are branching out and they're kind of figuring out what to do because it looks like that um, the time stream is kind of not built to handle that many alternate branches. Um, so there's some really interesting uh, plot elements going on um, and I'm very excited to see where this goes. Um, I, I am a big Marvel fan, um, as I've said before. So uh, I always watch all the Marvel stuff. I'm I'm really looking forward to the Marvels this year, although I'm pretty unoptimistic about it. I like the characters a lot. All three of the Marvel the uh, Captain's Marvel, Ms. Marvel, and um, Photon, Monica Rambeau. I like all of those characters a lot. So I'm really excited to see them on the big screen together. Um, and I've got a lot of time for uh, Brie Larson as well. I don't know if that's hugely popular on the internet, but whatever. Um, I think she's great. She's great in um, Scott Pilgrim. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to that one. Um, I rambled on about Marvel stuff for like five minutes, so I'm going to cut the video here. Um, let me know what you've been reading, what you've been watching, what you've been playing this week. Um, I'd love to hear if you've got any recommendations for me while I build my reading schedule for uh, 2024. And I actually have zero plans currently for December 2023. Um, the one thing that I really wanted to do before the end of the year is finish off the two books that I have hanging, which is Voice of War by Zach Argyle that I started in Self-Pub September, and also um, Ship of Destiny, I think, or Mad Ship. Whatever the second um, Live Ship Traders book is, I have had that dangling since, like, February or March and I'd really like to finish that before the end of the year so that's uh those are the only two things that I've kind of got in the back of my mind um and uh, I don't really want to start anything new fantasy series wise because of Wheel of Time and I don't know if I want to start anything sci-fi wise because Wheel of Time um so I guess we'll see uh, maybe I'll read another Stephen King uh thanks anyway for watching like i said leave some comments down below that's the best way for me to find out what you guys are into and to help make these videos better for you and also um do me a favor and if you liked the video give it a like and share it with some friends if you think they'd enjoy it and uh as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one